Luna. Hi friends, we are live um, from the floor of my living room, which I haven't had to do in a while. I used to always post everything live or even just any video I recorded from the floor of my living room. Um, and then I had an office, but the way today is going, I just couldn't be bothered to go upstairs to my office to do this. Luna might wanna play now, which will be annoying. But um, today's live session is all about Sneaky things that are sabotaging your fitness and weight loss efforts, things that we sometimes like glean over and don't really pay attention to as much as we should. Um, and then I'm going to give you some tips to just like fix a couple of things that really could be standing in your way. Before I get into that, I want to remind you, Luna, she does this thing where she buries biscuits. Get it. Okay, before we get into that, I want to remind you that the Bring Out Your Badass 8-Week Challenge is finalizing enrollment Friday night. So if you've been toying with the idea of joining me for eight weeks for full-on fitness coaching, full-on nutrition coaching, plus mindset and accountability, and a group atmosphere, that's going to be amazing. I'm already obsessed with all the girls who have signed up. Um, it's going to be a really supportive, uh, just like party atmosphere that's really going to keep us going for the eight weeks. I'm excited myself. I believe in the program so much that I'm doing it myself, which... I think says a lot about the way that the program goes together. I know it's going to be successful and it's going to create amazing transformation and I'm excited to see what it looks like myself. So um, that is that. Now, as we get into the sneaky things that are sabotaging your fitness and weight loss efforts, I'm going to lead with the big one because this really is the main concept, the main thing that most people are missing in their efforts. And that is consistency and you're like oh, okay like I've heard that a lot but really when people start to try and lose weight start to try and get fit get strong whatever it is they set themselves up for a lot of fluctuation so a lot of ups and downs in their intake meaning like the calories and the food that they're eating a lot of fluctuation in their output which is their activity levels and the much that how much they're working out and you our bodies will not relax enough to release and let go of any fat cells if we're fluctuating a lot in intake and output because those things affect our metabolism those things affect our um our oh my gosh our hormones so what we want to do is rather than creating a lot of fluctuation we want to bring things in to a more moderate range so that we are really really consistent on a daily basis weekdays, weekends, on trips, when we eat out, when we're, you know, more active, when we're less active, like more consistency so that our metabolism is more regular and more even and therefore our hormones are more even as well because all of those things affect how your body is actually going to either hold on to or let go of the weight that you're trying to manipulate. So what I mean by that is when you're getting motivated and you're getting excited and you're like, I'm gonna go all in and I'm gonna go so hard and I'm gonna do all of these workouts every single day and I'm gonna eat no carbs and Lola. That's a moment of excitement when you go too, too high, too much. And then that sets you up for a big fall when you back off a little bit. So maybe you originally thought you were gonna work out seven days a week and maybe you do that for a week, but the next week you're only able to get to the gym three days a week. And then, or maybe like you're gonna eat no carbs and you do that for a while and you're like, okay, but then, it's like, I actually really need to eat some carbs, and so you're fluctuating in your intake. So instead, we want to pull back. When it comes to how many workouts you should be doing per week, I like to do four or five. That's what I generally recommend for people because it's so much easier to consistently hit four workouts a week for 8, 12, 16 weeks in a row, and that allows you some flexibility, and your body actually finds this sort of like calm knowing that it's going to be that active four times a week um, and it's much more manageable than seven days a week or six days a week. So bring back the amount of workouts that you're doing to something that you can 100% stick to for, you know, several months in a row. The other thing about your calories and your carbs is that people tend to over, over restrict and then bounce back and do a lot of binging. So you're getting, again, a lot of fluctuation in your intake. So instead, what we want to do is bring your calorie range to a much more moderate window that you're able to hit every single day that you're working on the weekends, everything, because it's high enough that it allows you to be social and flexible. 
but it's low enough to keep you in a, um, in a deficit so that you're actually gonna continue to see the progress you want. So that's the big thing. The big mistake that most people are making is that they are going too hard and having too much fluctuation, so they're never able to create that sort of calmness for their body and their hormones to let go of the fat cells that they're holding on to. So that's the big one. Now, the other ones are a little bit smaller and a little bit easier to tackle um, sort of day to day. First one is sleep. So you might think that you're getting enough sleep with like five and a half, six hours of sleep. It's not enough. Your body needs seven to eight hours as an adult for proper rest and for proper recovery. So if you're not getting enough sleep, your body is going to be at a heightened state of stress. You're gonna feel more fatigued first of all, and you're gonna be looking anywhere for energy that you possibly can, so you're gonna to wanna to eat more, which means that you're not gonna be able to maintain your calorie deficit. So you're gonna be more fatigued, your cortisol is gonna stay elevated, and when cortisol, which is the stress hormone, stays elevated, we actually hold on to more body fat because our body is just trying to protect itself from the stress that it's interpreting. And you are not gonna allow proper recovery for your muscles, especially if you're lifting, if you're working out hard several days a week, so you're not going to have enough recovery time to actually feel good before you jump into your next workout. So um, that is something, sleep is something that affects us way more than just like, I feel tired the next day, especially chronically over a long period of time. Um, not enough sleep is going to actually really hold you back and make your body feel stressed. So it's not going to let go of the weight. And that leads me into number two. So sleep is number one. Stress is number two. So your stress levels cause increased cortisol. That's really what stress is, is your cortisol, which is a hormone that is regulated by your endocrine system, um, is elevated. And when your cortisol is elevated, your body feels threatened all the time. And our number one protection, physical protection, is our body fat. So if it feels like it's being threatened because your cortisol is so high, it's gonna hold on to the body fat. And if you are someone who feels like you hold weight in your midsection, it could be stress related because the tissue in your midsection around your belly actually has about four or five times more cortisol receptors than other tissues in your body because all of your like vital organs are in here. So when your body feels stressed, it wants to protect those vital organs. So when your stress is elevated over time, that that fat will accumulate there and will stay there. So you can't like spot reduce fat loss. You can't like do a bunch of crunches and expect to lose your belly fat, but reducing your stress, bringing that cortisol level down consistently for several weeks will actually help your body to release the insulation and protection that it's keeping in your midsection. So we have sleep, we have stress, and then the third thing, the third big one is hydration. So everything in your body is better. Everything functions better, more smoothly, more consistently when you are hydrated. And most people that I start working with are not drinking enough water. Bare minimum, you should be having half your body weight in ounces per day. When you pee, the color should be pretty clear, not very yellow, because you're you should have enough water in your body to flush out anything that it's holding on to, um, to keep your hydration levels. So we tend to bloat and actually hold on to water as a like protection mechanism again. So if your body is, you know, confident that it's getting enough water on its intake every day, it will let go of the water that you're holding on to in your tissues. It also kind of flushes out any sort of, um, any sort of just like retention of anything everything functions better when you're hydrated so one thing that I've done especially when I when I have clients who have been losing consistently and then they hit a little bit of a plateau if we don't see a change for about two weeks I'll say I want you to double your water intake that's the first thing I want you to drink tons of water and just see if we can't knock you out of this plateau because you're getting your body that extra hydration that extra just like security that it's not gonna die <laughs> that it needs. So the first thing we do is, is kick up hydration, we get that water going, and we also will just pop up protein just a little bit, just to kind of like switch up the way that your metabolism is working through your meals, which can knock you out of a plateau as well. So those are the three that I wanted to cover. Well, the first one is just like the big overall idea. We want to eliminate as much fluctuation as possible, so really just bringing your extremes into a more moderate range that you can stick to like day to day. 
Um, the other things are sleep, stress, and water. They're all very closely related. They all affect your metabolism. They all affect your hormones. They all affect the way that your body holds on to its protective layer. And if we're trying to get rid of that protective layer, then we need to make sure that we have proper sleep. Like I'm talking eight hours a night would be ideal. Um, we need proper stress management. So things that you can do to bring your stress levels down, like getting enough sleep, like using to-do lists and organizational systems so you don't feel like you're scattered all over the place. That stuff has a great effect on the way that your body is going to respond to any of the protocols that we're doing. And the last thing is hydration. And that one is just such a quick fix. Once you start hydrating your body properly, things start moving, things start coming off because your body feels safe and like it can trust that it's going to get the water that it needs because ultimately our bodies are just trying to survive in this crazy world. So we need to give our give them as much consistency as possible so they feel safe because a body that feels threatened is not going to let go of its protection. A body that feels safe and like it's getting consistent intake will let go of it a lot easier. And because I'm so obsessed with hydration and I'm always carrying around my water bottle and I and I feel like it is the one thing that just changes me from feeling okay to feeling like I am thriving as a special free gift for anyone who onboards into the Bring Out Your Badass eight week challenge this week before the deadline on Friday, I'm going to give you, gift you, a Hydro Flask water bottle. Um, mine's over there, but you know, those big metal, metal water bottles that all the cool kids are putting all their stickers on. Um, I'm going to gift you one in your favorite color as an enrollment gift when you join the Bring Out Your Badass Challenge. So it's the last push to get enrollment going and get everything rolling before we start the challenge on Sunday. So if you're interested in that, shoot me a DM or head over to my website, rachelestewart.com. I'll leave it in the, in the comments so you can check it out. And let's get you enrolled. I'll, get, I'll gift you that free water bottle. And I will also gift you the fat loss and fitness and guidance and support and confidence and energy and long-term health and success that you are looking for. So that's it for today. Let me know how you like this live in the comments. Let me know what you want me to talk about in the future because I have lots of ideas and sometimes I need your help. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm busy AF tonight, so catch you soon.